Hello and welcome to Raf Limbs. This is Farooq Hossain, and today we are going to start a new series on cataloging and metadata management. In this series, initially we will cover the basic concept, and then we will talk about the mark. What is mark and how it's working, and then we will discuss the RDA in details. We all know RDA is actually the replacement of ACR three. So we will compare the ACR two versus RDA, and there's a new uh, concept about BIP frame. BIP frame is actually going to replace Mark in future. So we will talk what is BIP frame and how it will work, and then of course the need of uh, Asian countries and non-English speaking countries uh, romanization to. To compare that catalog according to international standard, so we'll discuss the romanization in details, and of course the hands-on practices. Actually, I'm not going to talk you library and information science once again, but my concern is to talk about library technologies. So all these concepts are related with library technologies. So we will discuss in details with hands-on practices. So in this video, we are going to discuss the main concepts, and we all know the cataloging and metadata management is something like this. But in reality, it's quite easy and simple, like this. So here I'm leaving a question: Are they both same thing? See the I button and select your answer. I will give you answer within this video. Are the cataloging and metadata both are the same thing, or is there a difference between both of them? Let's talk about cataloging. Cataloging is actually descriptive. There are two types of cataloging. One is descriptive. The other is subjective. So, if you don't remember what is descriptive cataloging, let me tell you, and you have to read more about the main concept. The descriptive cataloging is actually describe bibliographic information of information sources. If you don't remember what are the bibliographic information, so they you have to remember the seven areas of cataloging. Now they are elements actually. So the biblio seven areas like the uh, Title area, and we have author area, imprint area. There we have to provide the information about uh, title, author, publisher, date of publication, and so on. So the information sources could be books, could be CDs, could be CDs, DVDs, e-resources, online resources, or whatever. So descriptive cataloging is it's strictly follow. Instructions and rules as per code. And what are the famous code? We have ACR2, ISBD. We all know ACR2. What is? Uh, it's Anglo-American cataloging rules, and the version is two, revised version two. And then ISBD. ISBD is International Standard Bibliographic Description. It's not so important, but we will talk about this as well. And then ACR2 replaced by RDA. RDA is actually ACR3. So we have RDA. RDA is resource description and access. And after the descriptive cataloging, we have subjective catalog. Subjective cataloging is to assign subject. All subject heading as per standards. What are these standards? I mean, the famous standard is Library of Congress subject headings, and the CL list of subject headings. And we assign call numbers and cutter in subjective catalog. Cutter or the author mark. There's a, I mean, there's a choice actually. Either you can assign cutter number or you can assign the author number. There's a choice. In Asian countries' perspective, I'm not talking about the international. Perspective. 
so you can assign the call number call number is compulsory and there's a choice between quarter and the hour so ddc is actually dv decimal classification scheme and the one of the famous scheme for assigns call number and then we have the column i mean library of congress classification scheme nlm for medical uh, laboratory and then cutter so the metadata the next thing is metadata the next concept is metadata so the metadata is data about data it could be just a single element like title of a book length of a feature at the de- date of publication so usually an information object that bring us to other information it could be a doi or hyperlink call actually metadata so you now you know the concept between cataloging and metadata let's talk more about metadata it's mainly associate with distributed network environments such as internet so it's mainly connected or the associated with the network environment the network environment could be internet it could be intranet it could be local networking but it's mainly work with the distributed network environment metadata elements group are called metadata schemes actually i'm not going to talk you labyrinth chip once again but it's very much essential to understand concept to learn technology for every elements the name and the semantic i mean the meanings of the elements are specified uh, content rules uh, representation rules elements values can be specified uh, optionally uh let's talk more about this many different metadata schemes are brings developed as a standards across disciplines such as library science education archiving e-commerce and the arts i mean metadata is not limited i mean metadata schemes are not limited with library they are spread uh, across and mostly we seen in e-commerce uh and there are three types of schemes actually descriptive structural and i mean we can define metadata schemes in three types they are descriptive structural and the administrative what descriptive scheme do is actually discovery or identification of resource with elements such as title abstract author and keyword they actually discover the resource what it is actually and the structure as actually compound objects are put together it describe the types version relationship and the other characteristics of the digital it actually talk about the structure of the digital information or the media. so the administrative provides information to help manage the store such as when and i mean such as when and how it was created i mean date of creation file types what is the file type either it's a pdf version either it's a html version or what it is and the other technical information and who can access this so all together three schemes three types of schemes are very much important either it could be descriptive it could be structural it could be administrative so they are very much important let's talk about further we all know mark it's machine readable cataloging standard for the representation and the communications of bibliographic and related information <coughs> in machine readable catalog form so the used for laboratory another metadata scheme is called mits mits is also for laboratory and the mits uh, is actually an abbreviation of uh, metadata encoding and transmission standard it's work in xml schema actually working with xml 
uh, for encoding descriptive, administrative, and structural metadata according to the object objects within a digital environment. As I said, this all these three covers by MIT. MOTS and other metadata scheme. Metadata objects destroy, I mean, it, uh, by abbreviation, it's meaning metadata object description scheme is a scheme for the bibliographic element set that may be used for a variety of purposes or and particularly for laboratory a library application we are not concerned with mits mods and exobis but let me tell you the basic concept xml or organic bibliographic information scheme can actually work in xml schema for the modeling of mock data so yes we will talk about the doubling core as well doubling core is network resources doubling core is mainly concerned with the interoperability of online metadata uh, standard focus on network resources so it's mainly concerned with network resources and it's it's, it's uh, work with the interoperability so the doubling core after doubling core we have doi doi is for network resources again it's work for network resources and we all know what is doi doi is something like a, uh, a url or hyperlink <clears throat> maybe you have seen that it's digital object identifier provides a system for the identification and hence management of information content on digital uh, network providing problems. We will talk about the DOI as well and the doubling core and the mark. They actually some metadata themes. In MITS we have seven sections. You can see this is just to clear your concept. So header and then we have to write the administrative information and we have to write the file, the structure, link, behavior, whatever. And this is one sample file of it. Let's see. Music folder and book like this and the address of this. And here we have to write title. We have written music folder. Who has created this? It's created by Chris, as we said, creator. And it's music, the subject is music. And then, then, then. And further, you can read this. We are not concerned. So, after mids, I think it's more. Anyhow, it's doubling core. Doubling core has 15 elements. I mean, the core elements set at a data set. We have a title. In the link over, we have to talk about the subject. We have to talk about the description, the creator, publisher, contributor, date, format, identifier, source, language, relation, and the coverage, and also the rights. So here we have an example of doubling code. There you can see it's doubling code DC, and you can see the title. What is the title? And then it has closed now into this slash. And the contributor who actually contribute this. <clears throat> and again the contributor. Another contributor actually with this with the with the date and again the third contributor. And then we have subjects. And subject again subject the subject has closed now after every information we have to close like xml <coughs> as a subject again like this is actually lc call number library congress call number then that subject again either. this is something like i mean this is actually an example of doubling code Let's talk about XML example. Here we have an XML mark example. So there you can see the mark code. It's tag number 100 and 100 is for author. 
and there's sub field A and D. D. Okay. Not B. Okay. It's D. It's it's the author, and you can see the date of his birth. I mean the year of his birth, and then dash is open. That means the author is alive. And then title A B C. You can see in A sub field for this title, and B is for uh, subtitle and C is for the uh, C for statement of responsibility. So C is for statement of responsibility. So 250 is uh, for addition and 260 is for imprint area. You can see A, B, C for place of publication, the publisher and the copyright information with the copyright air. 300 is for the physical description. You can see the A, B, C, so pages, and this for illustration and 25 CM for size. So this is an XML example, XML mark example. So what is the difference? Is there any difference or not? What is your answer? So let's see. Cataloging and metadata are not the same thing. Cataloging is a set of instructions, rules, cataloging codes, and actually they are uh, content standards. They are mainly con concerned with the content. So these rules outline what information should be in the record, how to phrase that information, and how to deal with the situation. Also set up the access points for author, conference name, series, etc. So you have to understand the cataloging is actually name of rules and standards. And they are available in cataloging codes like AACR2, like RDA. So this is actually the catalog. Now talk about metadata. Metadata is actually the encoding and transmission standards. So this encoding is not available here. It's actually the encoding and transmission standard. Metadata make, make catalog record computer readable. Metadata is a way to formatting that language into a structure uh, a computer could process. This is something like this. Uh, so the mark or the ma uh, metadata does not follow the rules of ACR2. I'm not sure about this, <laughs> but, the, but mark is actually there's no need to follow. If you don't follow the rules, there's no harm in it. You can write any information like within the codes of mark so i'll tell you how you will work on mark cataloging rules and the metadata schemes they both are very much important so in the next video we'll talk about the mark what is mark and how it's working we will discuss in details about the mark in the next video so the, thank you very much you are watching ref Limbs. this is swaro hosan and I'll request you to please join us. I'm not talking about to subscribe our channel, but if you join us, I mean, you will watch our video and you, you actually share our videos and you write comments to other people. Uh, let they know there's a channel who's talking about the library technology. So the, my main concern is about to talk library technology. I'm not here to talk to you library science once again. So all these concepts actually what I know I share with you. If there's a correction, if there's any mistake, you're most welcome to write me on my email address available there in the description. So you can write to me and I'll correct that information. So whatever I shared is actually my knowledge. I mean, whatever I have, I would like to share it. Thank you very much. You are watching Rap Lames and this is for the fans.